2020 Desert Twilight Classic or Festival here in Arizona. First real cross country action, club competition, but it's action, it's racing. Which Doug Souls of Great Oak, South Tibet to the Track Club this weekend. How does it feel to finally be out there and having your kids be able to do something and show what they, you know, what they can do? Really good. Um, when we found out we could come to this, we told the kids, you got a month and we're going to go do something spectacular. And they were really excited about it. And just putting something on the calendar that they could go towards was what we were looking for. And, you know, we know we're not super sharp coming out of COVID and, you know, just getting a few weeks of training. Usually we've got a two and a half hour plus really intense practice. We're probably closer to an hour and 45 right now. Just trying to let the kids focus on their academics, trying to make sure that they're getting some normalcy, spending time with their teammates. Um, Usually we're focusing on trying to build a championship team. Right now we're trying to build happy kids. So as that transitions, uh, you know, probably in December and January, more towards trying to be good again, um, then I'm sure we'll run a little bit faster in certain situations. But I was real happy with the efforts we got today. I said, I'm not worried about times, I'm not worried about places, I'm worried about effort. Go out and try today and see what you can do. And so I was happy with that. As an educator, as a coach, as a parent, as someone who inspires and motivates, how important was it for you to see these kids have a chance to compete. Uh, very important, very important. Yeah, I, to me, this was this was job one. Let's get them something. A little devastated we don't have Foot Locker. They canceled that today, so that was frustrating. But I'm hoping there'll be some other opportunities, whether it's a college open race um, or you know somebody putting something together that has, you know, hats off to Desert uh, Twilight for putting together uh, an unattached so that all these uh, California teams could come over. Uh, really great opportunity for a lot of kids, not just ours. Um, and so I'm real happy with that. So, you know, Ellie, Ellie put this on and did a fantastic job. So really, really happy about that. But with Scott and Nate afterward, and two new faces on the varsity, and they were bubbling with excitement. I mean, you know, it's a new role for them, but they welcome it. They take pride in the program. It's kind of neat to see and do juice in there in a sense. It's really, really cool. What do you think as far as this year's team today and down the road? What do you think? What's going to be the big challenge? What's going to be the, the, the funnest part for you? Based on where we're training, I would say we're about 70%, right? So we know we're not anywhere near where we want to be. Um, and we knew that coming in and we were, we were happy with that. It was just more about effort. So um, I keep telling them, let's focus on having fun right now. Let's you know focus on just developing each month a little bit more. And by the time we hit February, Ryan, we'll be ready to rock and roll. Tatum, Tatum, um, so you know, judges in February, that's when we're going to be good. So I think the guys know that. And you know, a couple of them said, I just haven't gone out that fast ever. Like, you know, most of those guys have never been in a championship place before. Um, so it's a, it's a big turnover and it's a big, um, it's a big chance for them to really learn what it's like to hit that full Andy speed, Sigaroo you know, 440 Vista, first mile, you know, Judah full Sonny. throttle. And so uh, most of them just weren't ready for that from speed Hamilton, yet. Um, and even on the girls' Vest, side, they went out really hard Academy, and, and trying to deal with that speed was difficult. From so. El Paso, Which team impressed you more here? And why? Chase Ward from IMG Academy. I would say our B team boys in the really? yeah they and those guys we had two junior miles, boys Brandon Wilk and Jackson Kalar that just Tatum, you know they get overlooked Tatum, a lot IMG and Academy. and they work really hard they're very quiet kids and to me they stepped out uh, stepped up today in a way that you know really put them on my radar so I was very happy about that um, you know I would say that uh, looking at the success that that uh, Amaya Telly and so we had six sophomore girls on the line. So we were just trying to get get them some experience, get a feel for what they can do. And uh, ultimately, I think we got some great experience. I told the kids, you either win or you lose. And today, we actually won. I mean, you either win or you learn. And today, we got both. We Good. won and we learned. So very important to get that kind of experience in there with such young kids. And, you know, we're right now, we don't have all of our kids with us. And so when everybody's coming together after COVID, hopefully, we can put it all together. I think we're going to have... You know, probably 12 girls battling for seven spots and hopefully 12 guys. So we're gonna have, we'll have some good depth and we'll be pretty solid. Probably wrapping up, uh, last question. You've been coaching for quite a while. 2020 has been something like none of us have ever seen. As a coach, how challenging has that been for you? I think as a human being, it's been very challenging. You know, just I've got three kids of my own and just trying to balance all the things that, that I'm doing at home and, and having to learn how to teach in a different way and, and having to, uh, having to you know, change my personality towards coaching you know usually we're focused on building a championship team getting experience and having fun right now we're focused on having fun getting experience and then building a championship team so there's a lot of role reversals in my personality just having to relax and say hey right now the kids just need to have fun and so that's what we're doing we're trying to trying to back off let them get their homework done let them have fun and I, I'm sure at some point uh, 
you know, each one of these kids is going to be stronger from this adversity. But I'll tell you in the moment, it's difficult. And I know across the country, it's been difficult for everybody. So I'm really proud of this generation and how they've bounced back from something really tough. And hopefully it's gone soon and we can get back to some normalcy. All right, Coach Doug Soule, South Wakefield Track, South Wakefield Track Club. Saw a lot of great things, a lot of energy from the kids today. Great to be back in action. Thank you. Thank you.